let me show you this easy sandwich hack when you want to eat in your car. I used to do this going between full-time work, part-time college. I do it till this day. It's really good. It's so good. So if you have a local HEB or grocery store that has a bakery, pick up those Bonbolio bread rolls. And you go right to the pre-made salad sections, like for individual salads. And you really can price this within your budget. They have $8 salads, $3 salads, $5 salads. And if you really are on a budget, you could probably get two sandwiches out of one to-go salad. And there's so many varieties to choose from. I've done this with all of these salads before. I can't tell you how many times I sat and ate lunch in my car. And if you look out, there's free condiments and forks and spoons. One of my favorites was chicken Caesar salad and just stuff it into the bread roll. Like I said, the varieties are endless when you have pre-made salads. I went with a garden salad and the chicken salad scoops on top. So all I'm gonna do is show you how to do this in the car. Look, I'm not saying this is the best way, cleanest way, less messy way, but there were days when I was younger that I would have full-time work, and then there was like a gap between work and school at night when I was taking college classes at night. So I would have dinner. Sometimes I would work all day without lunch and then I would decide to have dinner in my car before class. You know, the rat race is kind of bananas sometimes and you have to sort of find ways to get creative, especially if your car is your feet. I grew up and live in Houston, Texas, and it is a huge city. One minute I'd have to be at work on the north side of town, then go to the south side of town, and it could easily be an hour away. So things like this really became a habit just to be more efficient with time, traffic, sitting in my car, sometimes just sitting and eating lunch alone in your car, which I did quite often. I'm sort of an introvert. I liked it. I love to eat lunch, read a book, and sit in my car for an hour. Or sometimes it was just dinner in my car. So that's it. That's the hack. You put the salad into the sandwich and dig in. And with the salad that I bought today, I probably could sort of spread it out into two to three sandwiches. That is definitely a budget meal for a single person, especially in this economy. So I'm going to enjoy my lunch because I am sitting in my car waiting for my son to be done with his lesson. But I'm going to show you another salad sandwich hack that I love to make at home. It's so good. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the grocery store and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite like dinners or meals under 10 minutes, other than like something like ramen, but this is one of my favorites. Here we go. By the way, I just got my card and I just realized I walked out of the house in house shoes. I knew something was off, oh, Okay, so first things first, and this is the best part about this recipe is I'm picking up rotisserie chicken. You definitely can make your own chicken. This makes things a lot easier. I'm also going to pick up some romaine hearts. You can use iceberg lettuce or any salad mix you prefer. And I like Caesar dressing from the store. That's easy. By the way, I've recently posted a recipe video recreating the HEB bakery soft butter flour tortillas. I'm actually picking up the regular ones today because they are so good. I'm probably gonna make breakfast tacos using these later. For the bread, I love fresh pan bolillo. That is a Mexican style French bread roll. So I'm gonna pick up maybe nine, that'll do. So first things first, I'm gonna prep everything. So I like to add thin slices of red onion, that's optional. The chicken, the romaine lettuce, and the Caesar dressing is all you need for this. So I'm going to remove the skin from the chicken and just chop it up. I will do this for the chicken breast and the dark meat. By the way, if you are already subscribed, be sure to check that bell notification so you can get all of my latest videos. If you are new here, welcome to my channel Simply Mama Cooks. I'm Angelica. So this chicken Caesar salad sandwich is something I do quite often when I mix salads. I love to put it in a crusty French bread roll. 
I like to wet my pambolillo here, even though it's fresh, I like to wet it and put it in the air fryer for around three to five minutes, it just depends, until it gets crusty on the exterior and soft and warm in the center. So while that's in the air fryer, I'm going to dress the salad and combine well. You can actually use any type of dressing that you prefer with this. It's so simple and easy, and it's such a great way to get your salad fix and a sandwich all in one. Here I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. This is grated Parmesan cheese. That's optional. Sometimes I also like to add crushed red pepper flakes to add spice to it. You can definitely dress your salad the way you prefer and add extra fresh ingredients. It's definitely up to you. And my rolls should be done and I want you to hear how toasty the exterior is. And I'm also gonna show you how crunchy it is. That sound is my favorite part. Here it is again. Okay, so after I got my crunch ASMR out of the way, I'm going to prep these sandwiches. I'm just going to slice it. You can actually slice this down the center on the top. I'm gonna go for the side. And I don't know what to call this. I do this all the time with salads. Um, I'm just gonna call it a chicken Caesar salad, uh, chicken Caesar salad torta, I'm not sure, <laughs> but Whatever you call it, I just hope you give it a try because it's so good. So I'm just going to fill this with my dressed and prepped salad. So like I stated earlier, I do this with all types of salads. And if you wanna see some other variations, let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely show you. I always try to use things that are sort of prepped and ready. That's the whole point of making these. I just want something quick. So this is done and I'm taking a bite. ASMR, here we go. So good. So I'm going to make one for my son, and this is the way he likes it. I add the salad into the crusty bread, and I like to kind of mash it in there. I'm also going to add some extra grated Parmesan cheese on top just to garnish. I'm going to add some cracked black pepper, and this is ready. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.